Round five of a modern league martyr proc awesome opener here. We have the path if they are a deck where we need to path in the first three turns. We also have back to back martyrs. So we have the option of playing a martyr, playing martyr, and then playing martyr again. Or we have the option of playing Martyr, getting to a good life total, and then holding the second Martyr so we can flip Avacyn immediately if we need to. Either is a valid play. So, awesome hand. We'll keep this all day. We are on the draw, so we it can get even better. Um, our opponent keeps a 7 and starts with... <sighs> this is how leagues get lost. We were... Play it with house money, and then we play our worst matchup twice. So, again, this hand is good if they miss on Tron. They're not going to miss on Tron because they have an O. Oh, they are going to miss. We will get to field ruin them off of Tron here. Okay, this could go somewhere. Back to back field of ruins. Okay, this is... Couldn't ask for more. We'll have we'll have enough life to slam down a Sarah when we get it and keep them off of Tron for a little bit. So we're happy right now. They play an expedition map. Wow. Should have cracked Martyr, but I, by not cracking Martyr, we actually get to get in with some damage. Um, Want to see them expedition map and see what they get, and then it comes back to us. Oh, okay. Yeah. Up oh, there it is. So they get a. Urza's tower, so we'll take the mine. And give it right back to him. They Sylvan scrying for the new mine, one would imagine. Play the tower. They stirrings for a... Ballista. So now they can cast Ballista even as we're taking them off of tower. That's actually a good play. So crack Wolf Martyr here and hope, beyond hope, to draw a Sarah to start pressuring the board. Uh, we do have the path for the Ballista. We have Field of Ruin. Proc is, you know, a card. We'll take them off of tower. The amount of land destruction this deck is able to run comfortably really, really is special in a lot of ways. Um... We'd love to see another Field of Ruin. That way we can get guarantee to get to five for this Nova and this Archangel. This is kind of the dream scenario against turn against uh, Tron. We are annoyed because now they're at five, so they can Oblivion Stone us at will. Um, we're about to push them to six in theory. Um, so we'll Ghost Quarter the Mine, because we're going to try to make them run out of mines. They fail to find. No sweeter words in the English language than fail to find. If we can hit a Crucible, we can win this game. We can win this game one. I'm going to Ghostly Prison so they can't attack me with the Ballista.
This is also, we were talking against the War Prison deck about um, Stony Silence. I forwent it. Here is why it sometimes pays to not forgo Stony Silence. We're actually going to... We could get smacked by them casting Ballista on 6, so we're actually just going to uptick. If they were able to cast Ballista on 6, they could just go ping, 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 and Gideon is useless. Whereas this turn, we can path the Ballista if they cast it and keep Gideon alive. Gideon would be down pretty low, but we would be able to keep Gideon alive. We do obviously want to save our path for the eventual Ulamog, because this game's going to go long, unfortunately. Um, unless we draw Crucible very soon, this game goes long. There it is. So they'll get Ballista on... S they'll get Worm Coil. We are happy to path a Worm Coil. We are... Legitimately happy to path a worm coil. Yeah. Well, we will. We path those. Especially since they're failing to find. There's a outside argument of just minusing it, but. and keeping the path, but I think we path it. have to start racing, and that's why Gideon's up in here, for, to hit people for damage. Or just get there, you know, because you're Tron. We Tronin' out here. They exile. That's annoying. <laughs> they target me. Um... I think it's the proc here. They can have a proc. They can't do anything with a proc, so... They can do stuff with that Gideon. Them having that Gideon does annoy me. Expedition map. Cracks a map. Gets a tower. That's a smart get. We have a slightly better player here if they're. Put a fake counter on Karn. Hey. It's. We out here. We are just. Out here, Big Bear, doing things. Making it happen. There was an, ans uh, an option there to. So, Cleansing Nova is clever because they have to cast it, and it will kill the stuff they exiled. So there's that. This destroys, right? Oh boy. Oh boy, did they, did they just misplay? I don't know what their plan is. Yeah. <laughs> 
We did it, boys. We got there. Oh, boy. Please don't have another one. Please, oh, please don't have another one. Please, sir. Okay. We'll do that. Sure. It's destroy. Transform nothing. Uh, we're at five with the proc. If we draw land here, we... We're gonna cast proc here. We need to kill them quickly. So we're at, that's seven damage. They're, they'll assemble with Tron here. What can they cast with it? Sad. So very sad. So very, very sad. Deck, you have been amazing to me. I should not ask for more. To ask for more than I have is greedy. I want a path more than anything. I want a path more than I have wanted anything before. Can we get a path one time? We do not get the path one time. We are going to get Misfail Planes to be able to bottom things. But at the end of the day, we're taking a lot of damage. We do have a path in the graveyard, so we can misfail it. Do they get a crucible? They get a ballista. They do not get a crucible this time. Still the off chance we can draw it. We take no damage here. I feel like we're out of Sarah Ascendance, which is a bummer. <sighs> Don't do it. Don't you do it. And a worm coil? Oof. That's just mean. Cause now like we can't hit Tron. So now we have to draw a path. Misfail back up the path that we draw. Man, they they're really doing things. Okay. Um we will Cast a martyr. Present the ability to misveil back some things. To misveil back a path. Um, I don't think we got it. I, they, if they're a good player here. Oh, we're down to 15 minutes on the clock. If they're a good player here, they um, exile with Karn first. They do exile from hand. We will happily give them a squad and hawk.
This is such a nerve-wracking matchup. It really is. We don't have a Sarah. We don't have any way to actually win this. And there's Ugin. Um, we've done enough to prove what we've got. I think we just concede here. Yeah, we just concede here. Save time. We need to win fast twice. Um, I liked the sideboard plan from the last time. <sighs> you know what? We're bringing in the rune halos. Because making them exile cards is better than making us exile cards. Um, never felt like we needed Ballista. Ghostly Prisons are irrelevant. Squadron Hawks are interesting, but no. Call me bad. Wrath's bad. Cleansing Nova, good. We'll put Archangel in. Because of instant speed. I liked what that did. Being able to make things irrelevant is nice. Hand is solid. Hand does what we need it to do. Nerve-wracking to play your uh, bad matchup back-to-back. -back. This is the second day in a row where I've had to play the same bad matchup back-to-back. -back. Yesterday, it was also Martyr Proc with Black-White, but it was Blue-White Control, which is sit there for 50 minutes kind of staring at each other until you get jaced out of the game. Here, it's just like continuing to chisel at something and never actually get there because their threats are just so much more high impact than your threats. It sucks. I'm not gonna lie. It sucks. We're gonna disenchant here while the disenchanting is good. We're gonna make them really have to work for Tron and then take it away from them. <laughs> We're gonna make them really have to work for Tron and then take it away from them. <laughs> Is the game plan here. Let's draw a martyr off the dang top. Let's do that, do that. <laughs> Let's come on, martyr off the top. We out here. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. I'm name card with that. Thought not. We got greedy. Don't take the damping sphere. Bet you don't take the damping sphere. Bet you don't take the damping sphere. Bet you don't take the damping sphere. You won't. <laughs> This is just a really mediocre matchup at every possible level. We'll play this to throw it out, and we'll take a mine. If we can get a path, we're in decent enough shape. The fact that they get to Chromatic start a draw card and then use that mana... Relic, okay. Relic's good. And then use that man in this case to cast a relic, but the chromatic star into ancient stirrings is just such a bonkers line of play. It is out of control how good that line of play is. Relic is good here. So there's that. 
Okay. We're losing this game with every time we don't draw lands. take our ball and go home. So, that's that. 3-2 to cap off this league. We spit hot fire for three rounds, play our worst matchup for two. So that's how we'll wrap it up. Check the recap in review for what comes next. Great, great games of Magic, though. Really fun to watch. Hope they were are as fun to watch as they were to play and I will see you in the recap.